Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, I've just received my new enclosure for my laser engraver here. So uh, it's the latest one, the Pro one that Crowley's just released. So I'm just going to go through what's in the box and what the difference is between this one and the old one, which is just the standard enclosure. Okay, let's go. That's the enclosure. Let's get in here. Oh, they're the corners for the, the rods. We got some hose. We've got a fan enclosure and a fan. Have a look what what is the fan is. Ah. Oh. oh well, it's not a Gary video without um me dropping a screw on the ground, is it? <laughs> Okay, so the screws are loose in that packet, but it is a five volt, 400 or 4,000 uh, rotations per minute. So it's USB connected, so it connects straight into the side of the laser engraver. Um, I mean, good on Crowley for saving a plastic bag. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that because usually um, all the screws and stuff come in a separate little bag. But, never mind. Just be aware of that when you open it. They're going to go everywhere. That's uh, just my brother in, so I'll have to bring him back in a minute. Anyway, and there's just all the poles to put it together. Okay, so you got three basically different bits of pole. You got two, they're all labelled. Two and one, yeah. So basically, um, you can't miss it. One's got a little, a little, um, uh, press button thing on it and the other's got a hole so you basically just put all them together and they make all these sides of it <clears throat> and then you've got um, one's labelled number three so they're the uprights and that's it you got one two and three so you got four on each side top and bottom and four to make the uprights and then you've got these three um, bit corners so two come out the one and twos come out the side and the threes go up the top pretty simple okay so guys once you put the corners in you ended up with two square angles like this <laughs> and then basically the poles just push in each corner and then you pump it on top of each other so that in there Okay, so there's your enclosure. Just gonna put the top on and then the fan on. So it basically the top just goes over the top. Well, the cover just goes over the top. Like so. And on the inside you've got these little velcro tabs. They will just go in around the bar and just velcro it onto the bar <laughs> I'm knocking everything onto the floor once you got it on where you want it just velcro all the sides on and then it's just a the set of the fans pretty easy I'll just run through that in a minute you've got holes on either side Let's see, inside they've got these little things here, so they're the fan openings, there's one on each side, so you can either put two fan fans on either side, which is probably what I'll do, um, or just one fan and keep the other one enclosed. So you can open it the whole way to get access in there, or just leave it closed and just open the front little panel. And you want to just get stuff in and out. <clears throat> so there you go. So the difference between this and the other one is the angle at the front. So if we have a look, when I'm doing stuff, I'm continually leaning on this to get in and do stuff in here. So that gets in the way. Whereas this one, I'm going to be able to come in and it's sitting a lot lower. So I won't be leaning on that pole. So it's a lot easier to get access to stuff and the pole's not in the way. 
so this is a lot better for that sort of thing yeah so apart from the the access side of things which is going to be a lot easier and a lot better for me and the engraver will come up to about here so you've got lots of room without that pole getting in the way so if you're going to buy one it's worth spending the extra money because if you have a look at this one you see it's already bent because i'm leaning on it all the time to get to stuff because it's just in the way so um i mean this does an all right job it does keep the smoke at bay but this one is just going to be a lot easier to work with because the opening's a lot bigger okay so put the fan in this is all velcro like so so it has pre-done holes in it already now the fan blows so it blows air out towards the label so you want it sucking in this way if the air's going that way yeah so the fan's got to fit on like so so it's pulling the air out of the housing this will go like so this will go inside so you'll have this is the hose connection this little thing stops any wood bits and stuff going in your fan and breaking all the blades so that'll go on the inside like so and then I'll put all this on the outside like that that makes sense I hope it does okay so the included screws chuck one in I would recommend you put it so then this is on the inside so then that you're not gonna scrape yourself with any of the bits and pieces that are in there and just put the screw on just turn on the side and see what I'm doing okay the other thing it does you have to look down in here the other thing it does is this metal bit is like a washer and stops at the screw pulling through the side so that's the metal bit there let's put the next one in okay, anyone that did Meccano or any Lego and all that sort of stuff when you were a kid it's pretty much like that <laughs> okay so the screws are just um, Phillips head screws so you just need to nudge them tight so once that's on you just need to put the hose on and the hose has a clamp it may look small yeah but it extends out it's about oh, nearly six foot so make sure you put the um clamp on now you'll need a flat head for this one because it's a flat head screw make it a lot easier to slide over the top like so and then the, this hose clamp comes over the top of that and then you just do it up so the hose is it's an 80 mil hose yeah where, where am i just there 80 mil hose okay so what's 80 mil it's just over three inch hose yeah um so i'll get a white i'll find one online there'll be a wide junction um connector and I'll just um, print that out on my 3D printer connect one hose here one hose on the other one and then have another hose going outside I'll do it that way I think that way I've got two hoses pulling the fumes and dust and stuff out each side of the um, the enclosure I think that's the way to go uh, if you want to do your own these aren't expensive to get um, even your hardware stores and stuff I have fans like this sort of thing not sure they're going to be USB powered you might have to go to electronic store to get a USB power but if you can get one that is powered and you want to power it with a USB you can find an old USB cable cut it off and you'll have four cables there'll be a red black yellow and, and blue a red and the black are the power you can ignore the yellow and blue and you just need to cut the cord of the fan you get and just find the red and black and just join them together make sure they never touch so insulate them and all that sort of stuff I have videos where I've done that before so if you want to have a look through my videos where I've put stuff together um, but then you'll be able to put, do USB USB just have a little um, bridge they only cost a couple of bucks and just plug them in there and then you're only using one one port of your um, computer up for a USB <clears throat> okay guys so here it is all set up so I'm gonna have 
<coughs> just a basically a, a bus sitting on the end here like a double adapter plug them in then they'll go into my laptop these two coming out either side now I got this off my old one but you can buy them these fans off electronic stores and stuff the screws the right size screws I think um, Creality use a 50 a 50 mil length screw but the M4 screws and I found the 35s are perfect they fit just right a tiny little bit of overhang so that's okay but these as you can see they're all clamped in that hose clamp it's just a matter of doing up the screw at the side easy easy and I'm just going to print out a double adapter so it'll go in there and go into a single port okay guys so I just finished um, printing some hose adapters on the K1 Max you can see I've already attached one here to I think it's 150 mil um, hose that goes through to my inline filter and uh, these are just um, 80 80 mil adapters that will fit on these hoses so what I'm trying to do is just redirect all the air out to the front of my garage okay there you go got ya yeah. okay, get caught there okay so because I've got the two connected the two will come the other one that's back there let's see if they can do it there will come into this port and then I'll just simply yeah plug it into there so not only will they have the fans pulling it out but then this will suck the rest of it out out, out of the garage simple as that yeah so they fit nicely um, I just basically went on to printables and did a search for the hose size I want it um, you're going to find it a lot easier doing it in inches than millimeters um, because there's a lot more Americans that put the, um, the stuff up there for us to use so I did a um, these are three inch connectors these these ones down here I can't remember what the big one was I did I did, did that a little while ago when I had my old one but basically you just get a ruler and just reel across the hose and whatever 150 millis in inches you do a search for that and you'll find, you, you find all of these you'll find you don't have to go to the hardware store and buy them because what's the point of having a 3d printer if you can print your own at a lot less cost so this took on the ki max this took about an hour to print i think it was around about an hour hour and a half something like that um but i just put it on and walked away came back it was all done okay so that's on there Nice and tight, I'm going to go anywhere. And the good thing about this is this is a perfect fit. 3 inch to 3 inch. So that's a 3 inch to a 4 inch. And that must be about a 6 inch I reckon. It's as simple as that. It's really easy, yeah? And I just do exactly the same thing on the other end. And then I have all my air system going. And I'll have two fans pulling the air out both sides. And put it right out to the end of the shed. Okay, so this is the uh, finished setup as you can see. There's... um where the two go in and that's where it exits Oops. and goes down to the inline filter there and that leads all the way out to the outside so that's how I've connected it up two fans one on each side pump them through to a 3d printed converter that goes then into an inline filter okay guys so I hope that helped if you're thinking of buying one it is definitely worth the extra money to get the pro version just to get rid of that pole that runs across the front of the standard um, enclosure um, i do know that creality is coming out with a hard shelled um, enclosure um, they'll first come out with the um, engraver enclosed in the enclosure um, and then they it sounds like they're going to come out with a add-on but that's going to be a while if they're going to do that because it'll take a month or two to come out with the enclosure already um, attached to the laser and then they'll after that's all settled down then they'll come out with the enclosure so i'm thinking maybe next year so i'm not prepared to wait that long i'm going to spend money here because my health and the smell <laughs> that goes through the house is not worth it so i'm here in my garage so 
um, basically I want to vent as much as I can out the front garage doors and just let it dissipate into the, into the um, open air which will um, reduce the, the smell and all that sort of stuff. I hope this helped in your decision what to buy if you have, have got a laser engraver and uh, if you haven't already uh, please like and subscribe it does help the channel out greatly um, and if you have any comments or want me to do anything or any suggestions that you might want to have a look at I have had a few people request some videos which um, I have put on if you guys need some help with stuff or you want me to show you how to do st stuff just ask I'm happy to do them for you so just just leave a note down below like others have done before and I've made videos for them okay guys have a nice uh, week and enjoy the weekend coming up and I'll see you on the next video okay bye okay guys thanks for watching I really do appreciate the support you might like one of these or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past so feel free <laughs> okay thanks guys bye